I think what you're starting to see is that both retail and institutional investors are getting excited about Bitcoin because the narrative has changed. The asset class came out of nowhere about eight years ago. And it started with Bitcoin, and now actually people have gotten so far down the rabbit hole that they're diversifying into other assets. I think that the early days of Bitcoin were often plagued by people thinking about Bitcoin for money laundering and drug trafficking, but it's graduated from that. The narrative on the street is that Bitcoin is digital gold, it's gold 2.0, it's here to stay, and investors want exposure to it. And but from a gold, you're thinking of it as a gold, like gold. That's I think it's a digital store of value. It's gold 2.0 because investors think that Bitcoin is more portable, right. more divisible, How do you and verifiably about that scarce. Versus Ethereum, versus Zcash, versus any one of these other. Absolutely. So forms. I think when the dust settles today, you're seeing a lot of different tokens coming into the market. And ultimately, there'll be probably five to 10 digital currencies that matter. They'll each have addressable markets. They'll each have uh, distinct prices and distinct use cases. Okay. So what's the well, tell us for those of us who don't understand this stuff. Sure. What is the difference use case between Ethereum and Bitcoin? So Bitcoin is really meant to be a transactional currency. That Except that it's not being used for transactions. Well, today it's largely driven by speculation. No question about that. It may not be the most popular thing to put out there, but certainly it is for transactions. Something like Ethereum, on the other hand, was really intended to be a substrate for the Internet of Things, the machine payable web. You're talking about a totally new layer of technology that can really allow for smart contracts, connected devices. And so they can actually... So it's not, it's not digital gold? It is not digital gold. And in fact, Ethereum okay. was not originally intended to be a form of money, um, whereas Bitcoin really was. What, think, what is Ethereum? No, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, Joe? No, I was just going to say I, I'm thinking about getting down into the rabbit hole you say people are getting. I'm not sure that's the right way to say it. They're getting into more detail, right? Oh, absolutely. But the rabbit hole is a difficult or complex situation from which you wish you hadn't gone that deep. <laughs> that's the actual, de you didn't mean that, did you? No, no, no. Meaning okay. that people just, are getting obsessed with Bitcoin and, and, and getting, getting obsessed with the asset class. They're going class. deeper and deeper into the understanding of it and, and they, the, the ram of it and everything else. Not, absolutely. Not getting themselves into a, a more, which I think you may have been correct in the first place. Well, I think what we're starting to see is that those people who are starting to be naysayers about Bitcoin and kind of reject it are those that just haven't dug in and done their homework on it. From our seats, you know, our firm, we're the largest growing asset management business in the space. We manage almost $3 billion today. Right. We run a Bitcoin strategy, an Ethereum Classic strategy, and a Zcash strategy. Right. And the reason that these funds have come into the market and had the success that they had is because people not only want exposure to the asset class, but they actually want diversification. But, but Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.